Right. Uh, I'm going to be showing off the new custom ring feature. So first, we're going to start off by getting our ring in our background uh, for the program I'm using paint.net. Uh, this is a ring guide that I've uploaded. It's just kind of a static image, but it'll make it a little bit easier to add. So first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add your ring. Uh, I'm not going to really teach you how to make a ring, but you know, it's a circle. Um, so you're going to want to add the ring and you see there I added it as a layer. We're going to want that on top. And then you're going to also want to add another layer and add your background. I'm just doing this by dragging the image into paint.net, but you can use any imaging image editing software. Uh, so then uh, you're going to notice here we can toggle on and off the layers. Uh, so the general goal is to get that ring to match up with the outside of uh, this uh, pink circle. So you see there's the pink circle we want this part match up the inside of that to match up with the inside of the ring and then we generally just want to make sure uh, that the background doesn't poke out from the edges uh, and in paint.net a cool thing you can do is Control shift z and then you can set up like a zoom and it'll zoom it around the center so it, it makes it a lot easier to do it uh, so after you've done that uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to like toggle off the other ones and then Control shift s and then save that as your ring and then you're going to want to do the same thing for the background control should have to say that as your background i've included a sample background if you need one you might not just need to reset it so now we're going to go into foundry we're going to go to game settings and figure settings and then we're going to scroll all the way down yes i have way too many modules and you're going to go over to set and you see there's a new option called custom ring maker uh, and there's a guide there you can click that to read through uh, in my case, I'm going to upload instead. You can just drag in a file and I'm going to drag in my ring and I'm going to drag in my background. Um, and then for the ring quality, I just keep it at 80 for ring thickness. It's, it says there the edges and then the color I've already preset, but you can just select from here or paste it in. Uh, easy way to get that in paint.net. Uh, is you just kind of go over to whatever color you want, pick the color picker, and then just click it. And then boom, you've got the color in paint.net. Once you've got the color, you can just kind of copy that and paste it like so. See where it's a little bit of a darker. Uh, and so then you're going to click the create button. And then what that's going to do is update it and it'll send you a little notification here about They've saved it and it'll ask if you want to reload. I'm going to click no in this instance because I'm going to show you another option you can do, which is the export option. If you click this, it'll save a copy of the JSON and of the image, and it'll ask you if you want to upload it uh, or to open up the issue tracker and upload it to uh, the module. And that way, this will be an easy way for you to make and configure your own rigs. Uh, so anyway, after you've done that and you've reloaded, so I'm going to reload so that uh, it's easier to follow along. And here I am reloading. Okay, so we loaded it. My internet connection's a bit slow today. Um, but it should automatically set it to your custom ring, but in case you need to do it yourself, you just go into settings and then scroll down here and then just click custom set ring. And then yeah, that's it. Uh, so I hope you enjoy. Okay, thanks. Bye.